What is going on everybody? Tech enthusiast here and in this video I have an emulation test on the new Xiaomi 12. Now briefly looking at the specs it has a 6.28 inch 1080p AMOLED display. It's on Android 12. It has the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 CPU and the Adreno 730 GPU and 8GB of RAM. Now in terms of the storage you can get 128 or 256GB of storage and it has a 4,500 mAh battery. As for the pricing, this is the import model which I paid £560 for the 256GB model and you can also see the conversion in Euro and Dollars. So some of the systems we're going to look at today is Nintendo 64, PSP, GameCube, Nintendo 3DS, Wii and the PlayStation 2. Some of these consoles do have different emulators and versions and I will mention them in the video. Now before we get into the gameplay, I do have a second channel which you can see in the description and in that channel I do plan to have extended gameplays, taking requests from my subscribers amongst other things so please do check it out. So firstly we're going to have Nintendo 64 with Banjo Kazooie, I am using Mupen 64 FZ from the Google Play Store, now for the plugin I am using Glide Accurate and this is with 8x internal resolution and the gameplay is flawless, no slowdowns at all. Next up we have PSP with Dog of War Chains of Olympus and I am using PPSSPP, the free version from the Google Play Store. This is 8x internal resolution with the Vulcan backend and as you can see there is no slowdown at all. Moving on to Nintendo GameCube, this is FCO GX running on Dolphin MMJR2. I just wanted to try this emulator out and just see how it performs. Now you will notice that the frames do fluctuate and that's because of all the action that is on screen. If you were to decrease it then the gameplay will be much more fluid. Using the same emulator we are on Super Mario Sunshine and I am using a 60fps hack and as you can see the gameplay is very fluid, maybe a bit too fast and this is running on 4 times internal resolution with practically no slowdowns. Next up we have Nintendo 3DS, I am using Citra MMJ which is the unofficial version and I found it to run much better than the official version. This is running at 4 times internal resolution and as you can see the gameplay is very good. Again with the very same emulator, this is Super Smash Bros and once again you can see the gameplay is very fluid and obviously there will be some slowdowns if there is a lot of action on the screen. Next we're moving on to Nintendo Wii, this is Donkey Kong Country Returns running on the same Dolphin MMJR2 build and it probably does run the same on other ones and there are a few versions out there but as you can see from this specific version the gameplay is pretty good at 4 times internal resolution. Here we have Mario Kart Wii, 
the gameplay here is fantastic when you're in a built up area as you will see there is no slowdown and again this is at 4 times internal resolution with Vulcan. And finally the last emulator for the PlayStation 2, nope this isn't Damon PS2, we don't do that rubbish here. This is Ether SX2 and this emulator is taking the emulation well by storm. The developer is constantly working to improve this emulator and as you can see the gameplay is very good at 4 times internal resolution. And then the last game which is Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai Ichi 3. Now again this is running at 4 times internal resolution. You will notice there are some slight slowdowns and that's because I have been playing this game straight after running Ratchet and Clank. And unfortunately the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 CPU overheats when you're doing intensive gaming. So do bear that in mind. Now if you were to decrease the resolution to 2 times internal resolution or the default then this phone will run all of these games like a champ without really any problems I would say. So that does it for this emulation test and if you have enjoyed it give it a thumbs up. If you are new here then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up so make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Please do check out my second channel which will have extended gameplays as I mentioned in the beginning. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram and like always, thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.